Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to automatically generate tweets using Google Gemini from RSS feeds. So I regularly want to update all my followers on X handle related to the new technology news. Therefore, I am using RSS feeds. So RSS is a type of web feeds which helps websites to be updated related to the new information and new technology news with the help of systematic and standardized format. So here I want that whenever I'm going to receive a new feed from RSS by Pabli, then I want want to convert that feed with the help of Gemini into suitable tweet and then further I want to share that tweet on my X handle to all my followers. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For that we have to set up the connection between all these applications and that we are going to do without the requirement of any coding and programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you also want to learn this amazing automation step by step for that you have to come towards my screen. Welcome to my screen everyone. In this video I am going to show you step by step that how we can automatically generate tweets and share it on X handle whenever we are receiving a new feed a new update from RSS so here on my Twitter handle I want to update my followers regularly related to the latest technology news and for that I'm using NDTV RSS feeds so I want to capture the latest news of technology from NDTV RSS feeds website and I want to share by converting these feeds into tweets on my X handle so in order to automate this entire process, I'm going to use Fably Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. With the help of Fably Connect, I'm going to set up a connection between RSS by Fably, Google Gemini, and X Handle in such a way that whenever new technology news will be captured from NDTV RSS feeds, then immediately that feed will be converted into a tweet with the help of Gemini and will be shared on my Twitter, that means X Handle. So let's get started. Fably Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which helps us to automate all our repetitive tasks with the help of simple connection between multiple applications that too without the requirement of any coding and programming skills so we are on the home page of Pabli connect where we can reach by tapping the url pabli.com slash connect in our browser after coming over here you will find two options sign in and sign up for free in case if you are already an existing user so you can directly click on sign in option but if you are a new user you have to click on this sign up for free button it is going to create your free new account and also when you will do that you will receive 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations now here i'm already an existing user so i'm going to click on sign in this is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by pabli to create this automation we are going to use pabli connect so let's click on access now so it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. On this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And to save these workflows accordingly, we can also create different folders over here on the same dashboard. Now to create a new workflow, first of all, we are going to create now to create a new workflow first of all we will click on this create workflow option and here our dialog box is appeared in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, I'm going to give a name over here automatically generate tweets using Google Gemini from RSS feeds. So here according to the purpose I have given the name to my workflow. Now I'm going to simply select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So here I have multiple folders I'm going to select social media automations and we will simply click on create. As we have done that you can see that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts, the principles or the building blocks on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can add as many action steps as we want. Now let's suppose here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new feed as RSS feed from RSS by Papli, then immediately that feed should be converted into a suitable tweet with the help of Google Gemini and should be shared on my X handle as tweet. So I'm going to take RSS by Papli in order to capture the RSS feeds in my trigger step and I'm going to take Google Gemini and X in my action steps. But when we are going to set up the connection between these applications, we can see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the new feed is captured through RSS by Pabli, then only that feed will be converted into the tweet and it will be shared on Twitter, otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger and action, let us start creating the automation step by step. First of all, in order to start the workflow, we have to go towards our trigger step and we have to select our trigger application. Now here our trigger application will be 
RSS by Pabli. So we have to select that. Basically, RSS by Pabli is a feature by Pabli which helps us to capture the RSS feeds easily and effortlessly that to automatically inside Pabli connect. Now here we are going to select the trigger event that is that is new item in feed. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. As we have selected new item in feed, that means whenever in the feed, whenever a new item will be released, it will be updated. Then that same item will be captured immediately inside Pabli connect every one hour. One hour is the polling time of RSS by Pabli. Basically, polling time is the time which Pabli Connect is going to take in order to capture the new response every time. So because we have one hour of polling time, therefore RSS by Pabli is going to capture the new response of new feeds from NDTV News whenever the response will be captured in every one hour. Alright, so we'll quickly click on connect to build the connection between RSS by Pabli and Pabli Connect and because it is already an inbuilt feature, so the connection is made very easily. As we have done that here, it is asking us for the feed URL and the filter type. In order to enter the feed URL, the instruction is given. Enter the feed URL here. This RSS trigger will check for updates RSS feed at regular intervals. Basically, in order to understand the feed URL, first of all, I'm going to tell you what is RSS. So RSS actually stands for really simple syndication. It is a web feed that allows users and applications to access updates to websites in a standardized computer readable format okay so by subscribing to an rss feed users can receive updates about new content from their favorite websites without having to visit them individually on regular basis once you will subscribe to an rss feed for example here i'm taking the example of ndtv rss feeds website and here you can see that feeds are available on all the topics top stories world cricket south people latest stories business technology hindi movies etc so according to your interest you can subscribe any of the RSS feed and you can capture the response of those RSS feeds inside Pabli Connect according to your interest on regular basis that too automatically because here I want to share the tweets related to the technology news therefore here my interest will be related to tech feed so I'm going to go towards the tech field on ndtv.com RSS website and here this is the feed of which I want to capture the response so I will simply copy the URL of this feed this is the URL of my RSS feed and I will paste it over here. Done. When we have done that, now our connection is set up between the RSS feed of technology news inside NDTV and Pabli Connect. Okay. Now here we have to select the filter type. We have three options over here. Different publish date, different GUID and default. So I'm going to select default because it is recommended. But, but you can select the filter type according to your requirements. And here when we are going to click on save and send test request button, we are going to receive the response. What response we are going to receive? The last feed which was uploaded on our RSS website side because as I told you that RSS by Pabli is based on one hour polling time. So now by clicking on save and send test request button, we are going to receive the response of the latest data which was added. So whichever news was uploaded over here in our feed last, that response will be captured inside Pabli Connect currently. Let's click on save and send test request button. And here you can see that we have received the response. In the response, here is the title of the news. This is the publishing date and time. And this is the description of the news. Okay, so the news says... Wazir X attributes wallet compromised to liminal says owner signers machines unaffected. Okay, and here is the description. Wazir X tied up with liminal to be the custodian of its wallet in January 2023. Here we have received the news and all other details. This means that our connection between RSS by Pabli and Pabli Connect is absolutely successful. And once we have set up this connection, now every hour, whenever a new upload will be made inside our feed which we have connected, the response will be automatically captured inside Pabli Connect. Now when we have received this response our objective is to share this response to share this feed as a tweet on our x handle so how we are going to do that by converting this news is into a tweet okay so we are not going to do it manually every time because we are already setting up an automation for that so i'm going to use google gemini for converting the feed the news feed related to the technology into suitable and engaging tweets so for that now we have to build the connection between gemini and pabli connect let's select our action application and here our action application will be google generative ai let's quickly select that now we have to select the action event that will be generate content we'll click on connect and in order to build the connection i'm going to go with add new connection to build a new connection with my Google Generative AI account. But in case if you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. For building a new connection, we have to first of all enter the API key. So how we're going to get that? In order to get this key, the instructions are given over here. You just have to log into your Gemini account and then you have to click on this hyperlink Google AI Studio. After coming on this Google AI Studio, you have to click on get API key. 
and you have to generate a new API key. So how are you going to do that? By clicking on this create API key button. For generating the key, you have to first of all select the project. If you have not created the project, you have to create one. I have already created a project, so I'm going to click on my first project over here and we'll click on create API key in existing project. As we have done that, here our key is ready. So we'll simply copy this key and move back towards Fabdi Connect to paste it over there. After pasting the API key, we'll simply click on save. And here we can see that our connection between Google Generative AI and Fably Connect is absolutely successful. For after building the connection, we have to enter the text, the model, and the method. So text is the very important field over here. This is basically the order or the prompt or the command which we have to provide to Google Generative AI that what we wanted to do for us. Here in my case, I want to generate tweets with the feeds which I have received from RSS by Fably. So my text will be according to that. I'm going to enter generate an engaging tweet from this RSS feed. Okay, and I will simply enter the feed which we have received the description of the feed. So this is our response which we have received and we'll select that here are all the details. Among these details, we have also received the description of this feed. So we will simply select that description and we have mapped it. When we map our data like this by using our previous response, it becomes dynamic and it is going to replace automatically with each and every new response. This means that now whenever a new RSS feed will be captured through RSS by Pabli, then immediately the data which we have mapped over here is going to replace with a new feed of that new response and in this way we are going to automate the entire process of generating tweets from the RSS feeds with the help of Gemini so when we have entered the text now we'll move forward I have just entered a simple and basic text over here but according to your requirements and your needs you can change and create a customized text over here you can enter all the requirements which you want in your tweets over there and all the points which you want to mention as well now here we have to select the model by using which we want to generate the content you can see we have multiple models over here i'm going to select model gemini pro and here we have to select the method that will be generate token let's simply click on save and send test request button and you can see here we have received the response. In this response here, our tweet is ready. We just have to post this tweet on X now. So how we are going to do that? By setting up the connection between X and Pabli Connect. So once again, we will click on this add action step button. And our action application over here will be X that will that was formerly Twitter. We have selected that. Now we have to select the action event create tweet. Let's click on connect. For building the connection here, I'm going to go with add new connection. And to build the new connection, we have to simply click on connect with X. Now it is asking us the client ID and the client secret. How we are going to get that? In order to get these details, it is given in the instructions that you have to read the documentation which is given inside this hyperlink. Learn more. So we'll click on this hyperlink which is going to take us towards Pabli forum page. When you'll scroll down, here are all the steps given in order to generate the client secret and the client ID. So I'm going to tell you exactly what we have to do. We just have to click on this hyperlink once again, which is going to take us towards developer page of Twitter. Okay, here we have to go towards developer portal. After coming over here, we'll simply click on projects and apps and we have to select our app over here. Okay, this is my app and here we have to go towards keys and tokens. After coming on keys and token page, we will find both the details, client ID and the client secret. So first of all, I'm going to copy the client ID. We'll move back and paste it over here. Then we have to go back and we have to copy the client secret. So I'm going to click on regenerate. And this is my client secret. So I'm going to copy that and here I'm going to click on yes, I saved that and I will simply paste it over here. Done. Let's click on save. As we have done that, now Pabli Connect is asking us for the permission of this test application 220. That means the application of Twitter. So I'm going to click on authorize app. And with this, you can see that my authorization has become successful and X that is Twitter is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So we'll simply move forward. And in order to create the tweet inside X, we have to enter the message. That message will be the tweet. So what tweet we want to post? The tweet which we have already generated with the help of Google Gemini. That is the conversion of the RSS feed. So we'll simply map this text over here. That is the tweet. And here the code tweet ID and the direct message deep link are not mandatory. So I'm going to ignore these fields for now. And we'll simply click on save and send test request button. As we have done that, you can see that here we have received the response. Along with the response, this is the data ID. That means our tweet exciting news wazir x has partnered with liminal to safeguard its wallets ensuring the security of your crypto assets stay tuned for more updates here we have the tags as well so this same tweet is posted on our x handle let's go and check so this is my x handle here i'm going to refresh the page once 
and yes here you can see automatically my tweet is posted over here exciting news wazirx has partnered with liminal and all the tags which we have entered are also given over here in the hyperlink format this means that our connection is absolutely successful so let's quickly summarize what we have done over here in the entire workflow we have taken very simple steps trigger and actions in trigger we have taken rss by babli and in action we have taken google generative ai and x and we have connected all these applications in such a way that whenever a new feed will be received through rss by babli from a, from any of the rss feed website which we have connected then immediately that feed that news will be converted into a tweet with the help of google generative ai and it will be posted as a tweet on x so in the similar manner you can also very easily create this automation this is an amazing automation if you want to regularly update your followers related to the new rss feeds i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can reach out to us at support@pabli.com if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations